Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Chhabra. So uh, in my previous uh, video, I showed you how to create a, a virtual network from Terraform. In this video, I would be uh, creating the same thing, but instead of having all the subnets part of the VNet uh, code, I would be separating them and creating a separate kind of a code for subnet. And uh, that is recommended because if you uh you know using subnets as a separate entity it's easy to uh, you know manage and uh, uh whenever you are assigning any particular uh you know energies to a subnet so it becomes very easy to you know uh assign those energy to part of the subnet right you don't have to touch anything on the vnet level you're just updating the subnet and not the vnet as a whole so uh if you can see my screen uh in the in the um, in the previous video, I showed you uh, this particular code where I have created uh, a resource group, and then we created a virtual machine, uh, sorry, virtual network. And within that, this virtual network, we have three subnet, uh, gateway subnet, subnet and of AD, and for the management one, and then we have the tagging. So in this in this particular video, what we will do is I'll go back to the uh, Terraform. IO site and I'll try to find out is there anything for subnets right yeah so if you go in here you could see in the registry part under virtual network and subnets itself we see an example where it is creating a resource group and then it is creating the whole uh, virtual network and it is closing the brackets right in the previous uh, video i showed you the subnet is part of this particular code but in this particular video i'm not showing that in this particular video we are creating a separate resource right because if you want to change anything within one subnet then you just go into that particular resource change it and you're not you know touching any other subnet so if you can see in this particular example uh, you have you, you can create a separate subnet uh, you know and you can use the same network uh, sorry the, the the resource group but in this particular case you have to mention the virtual network uh, name right so you can give the reference of the previous virtual network that we have created so again whenever you create a resource you can refer back as the name of that particular uh, resource uh, type and then the label that you have you might have given in this case, uh, the virtual machine, virtual uh, network name is example. So it will go with example and then the name. And again, we can we can have the address spaces and then we can, uh, you know, delegate it as a name and we can do a number of things, right? We can we can have a service delegation for container groups. We can have we can assign this particular, uh, you know, uh, subnet for Microsoft Actions like you can have this propagated in, in, into the subnet itself so currently what i'll do is i'll just create a separate kind of a subnet i'll just uh, copy this particular code uh, what i'll do is i'll just first of all i have to close this and then let me just delete this okay whatever code that we have created let me just close that so yeah, let me create a new one for the subnet itself. I'll just copy this particular code. So this is going to close this and this will close that. Yeah, I'll just copy this. So what, what this will do is this will create a subnet. Uh, I'll call it as subnet one and you know it will again uh, it'll refer to uh, the resource group that we have created so it would be rg name as this and virtual network name would be a vnet inf which we created earlier yeah so what, what it will do is it will create a subnet with the name as example subnet but i want to change the name and let me just uh, give it as a, you know a web subnet okay And then I'll save it and then I'm gonna run it right because I'm hard coding the value I don't have to change the variable file right the other things can be changed so yeah uh, as the 
address range yeah we have to change that so let me just change it so it's 172.25.0 uh, no, uh, if i can say dot uh, one dot zero slash 28 okay so this will be enough let me just open my terraform okay let me just open git bash here just open git bash my terminal here i'll go to the the desired location what is it to the correct directory it would be lab 3 Yep, so yep, uh, let me initialize it first. And then let me create a plan, Terraform plan. I always recommend to use Terraform plan to get an output, right? Before actually you are running in the production. Uh, so it, it's kind of a habit we, uh, habit we can use. Uh, we can implement before before doing anything on on the production so always uh, try to uh, run the uh, run the plan so if you have devops if you have integrated your terraform uh, into devops pipeline so it's a better idea to run terraform plan in your local before you uh, you know run your pipeline which will not give you an option to you know change anything right so it will say that it is gonna uh, create three and what's it gonna create it's gonna create a resource group it's gonna create a subnet and it's gonna create a virtual network so what i'll do one more thing is uh, i'll create i'll have a depends on yeah uh, depends on parameter and i have done this because you know uh in my plan i could see that it is trying to create a subnet but it should always try to create a subnet when there is already a vnet created right it it should not try to create a subnet uh you know uh before the virtual network itself so you know it will it will error out if if you try it it will error out if you have not created a virtual network before and uh terraform is trying to create a subnet yeah so what I'll do is I'll cre create a, a dependency where it will try to create a subnet only after it has created a virtual network. So this is one of the example where we can use a depends upon and it, it is recommended to use a depends upon. Otherwise, there can be a conflict where um, there are multiple parallel, um, you know, resources created at the same time. So it will all it is. If, I mean, this is a very small code where you are just creating a three resource consider itself you are creating a 150 or a 200 resource at the same time right so it, it is advisable to always use a depends upon so that it has a layered approach to your uh, deployment so this is a why we use depends upon so yeah this is where we can use depends upon let me go back and run the terraform plan again So I've run the telephone plan command and I could see that it is, uh, again, it will be creating a resource group, it will creating a subnet and it will create a virtual network, right? So let's just uh, run the apply command and let's see. Mm, Terraform apply, I'll do the auto run. So let's see. So I'm running the uh, Telephone apply command. So yeah, it is trying to create uh, the resources. It says three to add, zero to change, and zero to destroy. It is saying three to add because I have destroyed uh, the uh, the previous resources which I created in my previous video. So it would be creating a new resource group and it would and with the new virtual network with this uh, address range. Yeah, so it is says it is creating. Uh, it has created the rg now it would be creating the uh, virtual network it has created a virtual network but yeah it is now error out and the error out is resource group this network this failure sending request original message web subnet is not a valid in virtual network this details uh okay so let's just go back to our code 
and see what's what's changed right so it says uh virtual network okay uh, let me just change the name it says it's not valid so save it and run it again and let's hope this time it will work yeah no so it's again it's saying a reference to the resource group must be followed by at least one attribute across specifying the resource name right so it has to have a resource name before we can we can we can see it right so again we'll go back and it says a resource name right so let's just uh, type the resource name it would be uh, vnet inf yeah so uh, when we again i i missed to type in the exact resource which it will depends upon right i've just mentioned as azure virtual network and not the uh the resource the label of this right so if you if you highlight this you will understand that you have to give the name uh of 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 the label right and and the label is only for reference for terraform as i told you in earlier videos this is not there's nothing to do with the with the azure it's it's the name which you would give for the terraform so uh let's save it yeah i'll save it and let's go back to the terminal and let's see if it applies yeah so now it is saying that it is trying to create a a subnet right it has already created a vnet and a resource group earlier right so now it would be creating a separate subnet within that virtual uh, network so that is why it has only uh, showed you one to add and uh, you know zero to change zero to destroy right so it is it is only trying to create a resource group and nothing else so again we have errored out so let me just read out what the error message is well uh, the error message says that it cannot be part of it so let me go back to the code i think uh, i found the issue it has to be zero dot uh, zero and then uh, so this is because of the ip range that i took let me just go back and run the same command and let's see if this time it will create so it is trying to create the uh, the subnet the third time i hope this time it is uh, creating yep so now it says uh, completed before going heading back to the uh, portal uh, again i wanted to show the excel and this is why you know uh, we end up you know uh, having the error because i didn't uh, use the excel so this is where i always recommend to create your excel sheet where you have all the vnets and the subnet ranges and then work on that uh let me go back to the portal and see if you have the virtual network created uh, let's just refresh it and yeah the virtual network is there obviously the rg would be there i just wanted to see the subnet is there or not yes the web subnet is there now uh, with the correct um, cid range and uh, this is how you create a, a subnet uh, which is uh, a separate resource uh, than uh, creating a subnet within the virtual network so if you found this useful please like share and comment and uh, do subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, hit the bell icon so you will get the new notifications as well so yeah thank you thank you very much